Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to check if you can actually family share a game. So it's very easy to check. So first of all, uh, we're not going to open Steam or anything. We're going to go straight to your browser. So I'm going to open Google Chrome and I'm going to type in Steam family sharing checker. Um, this is why I type in and then the first link should be steamfamilysharing.com. I'll leave the link as well in the description. Um, so that's basically what you have to do. So in the top uh, left corner, you can see search for games on Steam like this. So I can type in, for example, uh, CSGO. And this is this is where you get lots of information. So you have to be a little bit more specific, perhaps. So maybe Counter-Strike. Global Offensive. Now, there you go. So you can click on the game. And... Uh, you can see this result has been approved by the moderate team and it offers a partial support for the Steam family sharing. Um, and it says that not all features are available, but it doesn't list anything more than that. But as you can see, this is what you can find. So maybe let's go another one. Let's go to the two. Okay, also make sure that when you go and search that under the type you have to see game. Um, otherwise, not a known or a DLC or something like that. That that's not the same. Okay. Um, so apparently, Dota 2 doesn't seem to support family sharing at all. So uh, there's only one vote. So you can also vote for it. So you can show, uh, for example, if you cannot access it, you can vote for no support. You can vote for partial support or full support. But if it has like a verification tick, meaning that an admin of this website would actually check if that's true or not, and then you can actually trust it, otherwise it's just an opinion of many people. Um, let's go for another one. Let's go for, um, hmm, I need to think one. Uh, maybe let's go for Call of Duty, something. Call of Duty 2003, let's see if this one is now uh, this one the also does not support. So there are lots of games that obviously does not do not support. Uh, for example, and then Call of Duty 2 is completely supported. Um, so yeah, you know th this is one of the things that you have to keep in mind while looking for this website. Other than that, it's really useful, and I hope you guys enjoy.